a huge haul from Dollar Tree. Crafty and home decor, holiday, and regular home. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have a Dollar Tree haul. It is um, mostly holiday and home stuff. Um, but I wanted to show you. I got this. It's actually made out of wood and it says gather. I love it. I think I'm going to put it. There's a lip on top of my microwave and the two cupboards above it I hardly ever use. But I think I'm going to decorate it and I'm probably going to put some pumpkins or something on top of here. So if that's something that you want to see me do, please put that in the comments down below. I did pick up This is the Day that the Lord Has Made. Um, this matches one of the bathrooms and it also matches um, our bedroom. So I'm going to do something with that. And I picked up these picture frames. They actually have the feel of wood grain, whether they are or not. not well, they might be, might be. Anyway, they, um, I thought they were kind of cool because they actually have texture to them. Um, I picked this up. I'll be probably using this in with my family pictures in the living room at some point. Now I have, um, lemons in my kitchen during the normal part of the year so I really like this print and whether I use it in this frame or I change out the frame or I put this inside of one of the wreaths in the kitchen, um, I love this. So I picked that up for, for that and the same with this. They, this is perfect. Just the right mix of chaos and love. It's like perfect. So same thing. Um, so these are, will get packed away with my lemon stuff. Um, when I decorate uh, for for Christmas. So the lemon stuff will all go away and then it'll come back. But um, yeah, so that was really cool. I absolutely love this sign. Um, <laughs> this kitchen for dancing. This kitchen is for dancing. Um, I, I collect Mr. and Mrs. Santa Clauses. And I think... I have a Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus that will go with this. Um, I'm hoping. If not, um, I still have to have this for my kitchen. I just have to. And I, it won't go up like that. It'll be changed. So, um, so that is the picture frames and that kind of stuff. And on to the wreaths. So I picked up these wreath forms. You get two eight inch wreath forms for, um, for it's a dollar tree. So it's two for a dollar. Um, and I have all you guys, I have so much stuff that I have inherited from my mom that I'll be able to, to do stuff with. I picked up, uh, the candy cane wreath form. Okay. I picked up some of those. I picked up both sizes of these, it says bamboo wreath. Interesting bamboo. I look, yeah. Anyway, looks like willow to me or grapevine. But it says bamboo, so, uh, you know, that's what the tag says. Anyway, I picked up both sides, sizes, the 12 inch and this one also says 12 inch, but I picked up both sizes. Okay, so there was two sizes. I have an exciting project for those. Um, and I did pick up this. This is the 14 inch wreath form. Okay, so I got all those. And then I also picked up this box. It's just called a container. It I got the one with the the coffee cut or the cocoa mugs on them and I love that you can see inside of it and I'm thinking I'm gonna make a shadow box type thing with and make a wall decoration out of it with one of my Mr. and Mrs. Santa Clauses. So every year I kind of have been doing that turning something that I have 
into something. <laughs> I have over 600 sets of Mr. and Mrs. Santa Clauses. It's getting very hard to find ones that I, I don't have. Um, so, okay, so on to, I picked up these ornaments and I think they're really fun. You, look at, it totally looks like it's got the lines in it, but it's just from the way it was painted. Okay, so, but I think they're adorable. As they are, I will probably be changing those. I love this red glittered reindeer. It's glittered on both sides. Um, uh, he's probably not going to stay like that, but we will see. We'll see. We'll see. I did get one of these sleds. And it's actually pieces. So three pieces. And I will, I'll be changing that out. This was awesome. Giant Merry Christmas. I um, have an idea for that. Now we're in the flat things, actually. So I picked up this um, placemat. That's got the chalkboard background and the chalkboard look. And... Um, I'm thinking that's going to go in the kitchen. I did find a Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. It is a large bag and a tag. Woohoo! And, oh my gosh, I, I love it. And so, of course, there's two, two, two of it. <laughs> two of it. So, and I love that it says peace. So, voila. <laughs> I picked up one of these bags that everybody's been hauling. I think it's really, really pretty. And um, so, and again, on these bags, you get two of the images if you're using it for that, for the image. Or makes a nice gift bag. Okay. And... If red and green is your thing, there's that one. And if red and green is your thing, you might want these placemats. And I did pick up these floor mats in gray. Um, I have I have it in black and I love it, but... Um, everything shows up on it. So I'm going to try the gray and see how I like it. Okay, so now we are into... There's still a lot more here. Okay. My brother's last name is Queen. So I picked that up. I'm going to do some kind of really cool decoration for them for Christmas. Um, I picked up some more of the, the little trucks. I did get one pick that I thought was worth a dollar. They had just this one, so I picked it up. Let's see. I did pick up some glass. I got two of these. I got two of these. I think these are awesome because they're heavy. The bottom, they're bottom heavy, and, um, you know, it's like... If you breathe on some of the hurricane lamps, it feels like they're going to fall over. And there's the real, you know, the hurricane lamp glass that has the hole at the bottom. And they are so um, fragile. But um, I, I think these will, I went and played with them on some of my candlesticks and they look really amazing. So another thing I picked up, I was looking for the white candles. Um, the long time burning ones okay and they didn't have white but they had black that kind of is got kind of a black and and then gray in the center 
And then they put this paper over it. So you could leave the paper on. I'm not going to leave the paper on it. because. And then they had this one that's supposed to be red. It's kind of more pink. Oh, so this one's not going to come off. The other one came off so easy. This one's not going to come off as easy. Okay. And there we go. Okay. So I got two of each of those. So I'll, I'll play with those and see, see if I can come up with something. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to find the words. I have the, the fall words from last year. But they, these are, whoop, sorry about that. So you get joy, peace, and believe. Pretty cool. I got this beautiful star and my, um, I got the star and these trees. My nativity set is bisque porcelain. And I think this is going to look beautiful with my nativity set. To add a few trees and add a star. I think it's going to be really cool. <laughs> I picked up another one of the sleighs. <laughs> Um, I got a couple of the LED votive candles in white. These have five in them. You could use these like on the cover of a journal, but also I thought inside those eight inch wreaths, I have a couple of, um, events that I'll be, um, selling stuff at. So, and then gifts. And I usually make wreaths for the gifts for the gift exchange for the, you know, the ultimate gift exchange thing. So I like this tree. Um, I don't, I, I think I can pull it apart. We'll see. It looks like it's two of them glued together. Um, so anyway, we'll see. Something different. I like this box. I'm going to play with that. I found some of the white foam beads and then I found them later at Walmart. So if you're not able to find them at the Dollar Tree, you might find them at Walmart. So I picked up these hook and loop fasteners, Velcro. Um, I want to do some where I'm not going to put away, I usually put like half my house goes into um, totes and goes away during Christmas, Christmas time. Um, but I think on some of my stuff that I'm going to do, I'm going to do covers for my pictures and stuff. And, and anyway, I thought that I might want to use that. I picked up these magnetic tins. I have a couple of ideas for them. They are magnetic, so they could go on the refrigerator. Um, anyway, I thought they were kind of cool. I picked up these two white LED candles. Let's try those this year. I'm not a candle. I don't um, burn candles, you guys. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm afraid of fire. I picked up the white reindeer with the bell. Isn't he beautiful? I think he's really fun. And oh here's my other stars for my for my nativity. So there's two more white stars. So some of this is for me, but I'll I won't I don't usually put things out as they are. So here's one of those reindeer, and he's gold. Um, they had the stencils. So they had Season's Greetings, 
And on the back, it has those. I love stencils. Then we have Let It Snow. And this is what's on the back. Look at this. Isn't that cute? And the penguin, or as we call it in our family, Pangadek. I love this. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I cannot wait to use that. And look at all those. So you get a couple of ornaments and the wreath. It's going to be a lot of fun to use those. Um, so in the automotive section, I think it was, or the tool bench, I found red wire and black wire. Red wire and black wire. And, oh, another thing of the, the words. And some red candles. And I found these adorable little squirrels. I love, I think squirrels are, all, well, as long as they're not in my yard or in my house, I think they're really cool. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm on the last thing. I got the this package, you got five ornaments for a dollar. Oh, I got one of their Christmas trees. Remember, I get all got all that stuff from my mom, so I'll be able to add to it and make it fuller. This pretty ornament. I might put these out in. I might decorate my tree, my front yard tree. I've been thinking about it for a few years. Some little red ornaments. I think these are going to go in. I bought some garlands when a business was going out of business. It, they were just plain garland, and I bought a bunch of them. So I got this big red ornament. And I got a clear one. And I got more than one. And there's some more trees. Of the ornaments okay so now in the toy section I picked up these balls so this one this one and this one and I'm gonna I'm gonna try making something out of those and um, we'll see if it works so let me check around my area here. I believe that is my uh, Dollar Tree haul for today. Um, lots of things for home decorating and for the holidays. And I, you know, what was your favorite thing? What is it that you're looking for at the Dollar Tree that maybe you haven't found yet? Um, every Dollar Tree that I've been in they, they've had like a whole set of shelves full of boxes that were not open yet. Um, the one yesterday had the full set of shelves not with boxes not open. And several of those carts filled with the boxes of not opened yet Christmas stuff. It's like, don't they realize that crafters are already out there and we're already making stuff? So, um, yeah, they seem to be a little behind this year. I don't know what happened. So what was your favorite thing? Um, my favorite thing, of course, is that bag with the Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. I've only found a couple of Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus things that I don't already have <laughs> this year. And so I was really excited to find that. And, of course... All those home de decor pieces, I can't wait to turn them into something. Some of them, I bought several of them because uh, our my daughter my daughter has will have a new home for Christmas, and um, I made stockings and things for her, pillow covers and stuff last year, and I found her fabric the other day that that's her the stocking fabric and the. So I'm going to make her some, um, some, a few more items that are, that she'll be able to have in her home that will all go together. And, um, yeah, so 
I'm looking forward to welcome to my home Wednesdays. So Wednesdays, um, hopefully starting this week, we, my channel will have um, home decor and holiday decor and that type of thing on it on Wednesdays. There will still be probably a paper crafting video also, but there will be a home at home with Julie. Or at home with dear Julie. Julie, I guess it would be. So find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to tell me what your favorite one item or more is from this haul. And uh, I will put my haul video playlist in the description box so you can go and check out my last several <laughs> hauls. Find something to celebrate every day. And don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye-bye.